there uh, is a real wonderful connection with art and music, um, and it's become a little uh, disconnected because of CDs and downloads. People don't have album art, but back in the day, you had this beautiful uh, large space that you could really say something visually, and uh, you'd have uh, information you could right. share and tell stories. Exactly. Yeah, and you'd have an album that you could figure out. Oh, how we're going to end the first side of the record? You know, right. what what would be a good song to start the second side? <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's my perspective, and it, it, it's all upside down. And uh, Marvin, you said an interesting thing about just being lucky and surviving and all that. Well, being an artist is takes a certain amount of courage just to not now. For example, I am 60, I'll be 61 in uh, February of 09, and I am recording in November of 08 my first solo record, all right? And I've been yeah. doing this a long time, and I am, I think, my, the only person I know that doesn't have a CD. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how behind the curve I am. I'm, I'm like, oh God. But uh, album art and poster art is uh, very, it's expressive and it's important. And um, I think musicians and, and audience uh, listeners just are missing out on a lot. And I guess in the people that are fans of music really can do their uh, due diligence and, and um, find out these nuggets and, and Juke still produces these wonderful art pieces of art and their shows and but you have to be almost uh, proactively searching this stuff out but back in my time in the 60s and, and into the 70s uh, it was just a part of the music business you know and it's getting more and more rare.